What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we got early footage at the Godzilla Kong crossover event as well as all the upcoming operators, the details you need to know on the event, what the rewards are going to be, the new Beast Gloves weapon blueprint that's only available for a limited time and so much more. We're even going to talk a little bit more about season three as well. So if you find the video helpful or informative at any point, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I did also post two videos yesterday. One went over the entire roadmap for MW3. The second one went over the battle pass. So if you missed that video, and you want to see what the battle pass operators are going to look like the prices everything to expect from that i'll have that video linked down in the description but anyways let's go ahead and let's get into it hot ended up dropping two brand new trailers today the first one went over rebirth island showcasing the different pois what it now looks like in the remastered version they also did an update to modern warfare 3 where now it actually appears on the playlist there's a little countdown until season 3 and when it'll be accessible but this is the trailer that they showcase all the different pois and the points of interest they also ended up showcasing a bunch of different photos surprisingly and all the trailer footage they don't showcase the prison much which i feel like is one of the main pois it would also give us an idea as to which version of rebirth island they're going to be using is it going to be the one where the prison has a crater on it we saw in the trailer that there was numerous occasions where the prison was completely destroyed but they mentioned that was only because of infill streaks we then ended up getting a blog post where they showcased a bunch of different photos and the prison was among these photos and it looks like it's completely intact they're keeping it true to the way that rebirth island originally looked they're not changing it up all too much i mean obviously some things are modernized remastered and polished but overall it looks like it will give us the same exact experience that we had previously but what are your thoughts and opinions based on these photos the trailer that you've seen do you think this remastered version of rebirth island does justice to the original but anyways let's talk about some other things that are coming out and that has to do with the kong godzilla event we received a new store update earlier today this brought in the kong tracer pack bundle we've already showcased this and talked about this before but i'll just go ahead and showcase it one more time just in case but this is going to cost you 2400 cod points it features the armor kong operator skin you also get two different weapon blueprints that have the beast tracers they don't have any death effects only tracer rounds and then there's also the kong yeet finishing move and that's the one that i know a lot of you guys have been patiently waiting for it's now available in the store along with this bundle i'll go ahead and showcase what that looks like shout out to austin six for the footage but this is the entire finishing move set so that way if you are interested in getting it you know exactly what the finishing move will look like anyways here's where the new information comes in this is going to be one of four operator bundles that are coming Coming in from the Kong Godzilla crossover. The other bundles have a release date of April 4th. Season 3 goes live on April 3rd, so the next day after that, these operator skins are going to come in. Along with that, there's also going to be an event that's going to be starting. I'll talk about the details, the rewards, and what you need to know about that in just a second. God dropped a trailer earlier today around 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time when the Kong bundle dropped, and they also showcased the other operator skins that are going to be coming out. And in specific, they showcased the Scar King as well as Godzilla. And in my opinion, these bundles look a little bit better than the kong armor one you can see that the godzilla one looks like it's going to be a fully animated skin they showcase the finishing move for that operator they also showcase some of the weapon blueprints and you can see that they all look animated which in my opinion already looks a little bit better than the kong armor one that they have in the store so before you pull the trigger on that godzilla skin if you're not 100 percent sure i would wait until these other ones come out because they are releasing april 4th which is just a couple days from now the kong armor skin is not going to go away it'll stay the same but here's what you can expect so it says right here the tracer pack godzilla kong new empire scar king bundle will come with the ape operator skin two different weapon blueprints a charm a loading screen a large decal and the whiplash unleashed finishing move we know what the finishing move looks like already they now showcase the operator it looks like he's holding one of the weapon blueprints right here in this photo and then they also showcase a little bit of gameplay footage within the trailer more than likely the bundle will cost you 2400 cod points this is an early look of what the scar king's face looks like the little mask that he's wearing he's also holding a weapon blueprint which to be either for the i think that looks like for the ram 9 not the ram 7 and then it has like it's fully red with white stripes on it and at some point when he's shooting it there's blue tracer tracers come out doesn't really match the color of the operator skin and what he looks like but these are tracers that are going to be available nonetheless and then the next bundle we have is going to be the godzilla kong tracer pack godzilla bundle this will also feature the godzilla operator skin two weapon blueprints a charm a loading screen a large decal and the field the heat ray finishing move and here what makes this bundle interesting is it starts off blue you can see that when they first introduce it it's blue and then as the trailer progresses and goes on 
on. It ends up turning into a purple color. I believe that's what actually happens to Godzilla in the movie. So it seems like the skin might be reactive depending on how many eliminations you get. It may end up evolving. Maybe there's two versions of the skin, two different color variations. And then you see the weapon blueprints. When you pause it right here, you see that there are like purple stripes coming down. The tracers are purple as well. I can't point out exactly what weapon that is. If you know what that is, comment it down below. At the very end of the trailer, they showcase or tease at one other operator skin, and that is going to be the Tracer Pack Godzilla Kong New Empire Shimu bundle, which will feature Shimu operator skin, two different weapon blueprints, a charm, a flash grenade skin and effect, a loading screen, large decal, and the frostbite finish finishing move. It looks like it's going to have an additional effect with that flash grenade skin. And then they do showcase a photo of what that operator skin is going to look like. And this is what Shimu looks like. And in my opinion, this is probably one of the craziest looking bundles that we've gotten so far. It's more than likely going to be reactive. Even the weapon blueprint that they're holding onto looks amazing. And the fact is, we already have a look at the finishing move, which I'll go ahead and showcase that if you guys don't remember what it looks like. And then on top of that, the operator skin might end up costing a little bit more because they don't really showcase it in the trailer. They just mentioned it's coming out on April 4th. All these other operator bundles, you can expect them to cost 2400 But honestly, I won't be surprised if they try to charge you 3000 for the Shimu bundle. And here's the catch. If you end up getting all four of these bundles, you will actually be able to unlock a secret reward. And they mentioned right here, they say purchase all four bundles to complete the Titan collection and unlock the exclusive Beast Glove Gladiator skin melee weapon. Equip any of the four bundles during the Godzilla battle for the Hollow Earth event for an XP boost, which I'll talk about in just a second. But here's a look at what the glove looks like. It showcase Kong holding it a couple of times, but this is the weapon blueprint that you will unlock if you decide to purchase all of these upcoming bundles. The fact is, all these bundles are probably going to cost you around $80 total. As we talked about in the past, how they brought in weapon bundles, you purchase two of them, you get an operator skin, you purchase both dune packs, you get an additional skin. I knew it was sort of like a little marketing thing that they would try to continue doing, and it looks like they have continued it here with this. I don't think this weapon blueprint is worth $80. It, it better like get the eliminations for me for it to cost this much. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the event. This is going to be going live as soon as the season three update drops. It's going to be called the Godzilla Kong Battle for Hollow Earth. Launches on April 3rd, goes until April 10th. So it's a one week long event. It says discover the mysterious power of the monster versus mightiest titans. You earn XP to unlock exceptional rewards. You can equip the Godzilla Kong Shimu or Scar King operator skins for an additional boost. Usually they'll give us and tell us a list of the different types of rewards you're going to get. This time around, they don't showcase that. More than likely, you can expect things like calling cards emblems, stickers, nothing too crazy. There's more than likely going to be a camel that you'll be able to unlock, which we will get a first look at once the season three update actually goes live. With these XP events, there's usually around a total of 10 different rewards that you can unlock. You're probably going to need to gain around 500 and something thousand XP. It doesn't look like they're going to do a massive event as big as like Operation Monarch, where they bring in Titans onto the map and all that. They decided to make it more of a store bundle type of crossover with a minor event to come along and accompany it. But what are your thoughts and opinions on that we have a lot of other bigger events that are set to arrive and we're going to talk about those in an upcoming video but what are your thoughts and opinions on godzilla kong is there any of these bundles that you plan on copying but anyways that's all that i got for you guys in this video if you found it helpful or informative don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest call of duty news and updates but it's been your boy chizzo and hopefully i'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again peace